Hi everyone. So the question is, if the dimensions of physical quantities are given by m raised to a, l raised to b, t raised to c, then the physical quantity will be. So four options are given. Velocity a one. So there itself it is wrong. Why? Because a cannot be one because there is in velocity is l t to the power minus one. So how how this one can be one? Mass could be one. That's not possible. Acceleration again a one. That's why I'm I'm removing that also. Force a zero. That's wrong. Then pressure a is equal to one. So m raised to one, l raised to minus one, t raised to minus two. This is correct. This is correct. So pressure is is equal to m raised to one, l raised to minus one, t raised to minus two. So pressure e dimensional formula correct only. So correct option. This one. You don't need to solve this. Like uh, look at the question and you will get it easily. Next, which of the following five physical parameters have the same dimensions? Energy density. So just uh, in the previous video we explained what is energy density. Energy density same dimension as refractive index, dielectric constant, Young's modulus, magnetic field. So the correct answer energy density. And Young's modulus, correct. All right. So one and four. Option A is correct answer. Option A. So one more thing is that, so refractive index does not have any dimension. Dielectric constant, which is relative uh, permittivity, does not have any dimension. That is also okay. But two and three is not in the option. That's the problem. They are dimensionless, and also two and three not in the option. Okay. Last one. So second one is also done. Then third one, the dimensions of resistance in electrical circuit in terms of mass, length of time, and current I. So we know the diamond uh, resistance formula v from Ohm's law V by I. What is voltage actually? Work done by charge. So work done by charge into current I. What is work done formula? M L square T to the power minus two divided by charge. I into T. Here they used I for current. We sometimes we use A also. So I into T into I. So which is M L square T raised to minus two. Then T again will come T raised to minus three. This denominator T will come on the top. So then I square. So I raised to minus two. M L square T raised to minus three. T raised to minus three. I raised to minus two, option C. C is correct option. Okay, I hope it is very easy question, and uh, we will meet in the next video.